During the holidays in particular, police say people tend to get carried away with alcohol and then they get behind the wheel. Well, a local organization called Shut Down Drunk Driving is trying to stop this worldwide epidemic. The vice chair, Shastin Chakmakian, is here this morning to discuss how to solve this problem. Good morning, Shastin. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So tell me a little bit about your organization's motto and what you guys are trying to do. We really believe that responsible uh, individuals responsible communities coming together to do responsible things. So uh, it's basically a growing group of community members who are coming together to try to make a change here in the Coachella Valley. Was there anything in particular that made you want to get involved in this organization? you have a personal story? Uh, not exactly personal. A good friend of mine lost a coworker to drunk driving and I just have seen how it's affected uh, their lives and so I wanted to jump in and try to make a change as well. So how long ago did you guys start or, um, organizing certain these uh, silent stands? The Facebook page started uh, late October, I believe the 21st of October, um, because of the death of Selena Nava, who died October 20th uh, due to drunk driving. So. And we know December 7th, you guys had a, a silent stand. Yes, uh, Dr. we did. Uh, Congressman Raul Ruiz was there, right? Right, right. We're seeing video of that stand right now. Tell me about that. You were there? I was there, yes. Uh, we had a great turnout. People brought collages, banners to honor their loved, uh, lost loved ones, T-shirts. And it was just a really great event to see the community coming together to take a stand. I would imagine emotions ran high, people get emotional. Very, very. There definitely was some emotion. I cried a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but it was, it was just a really great event. We had a good time. And this was just the first, right? That was our first event, yes. So what's next? Uh, next, we're having a candlelight vigil uh, this Saturday, December 28th at 5 o'clock uh, at City Hall in Coachella. And we just encourage the community to come out and continue the fight against drunk driving. So anyone is welcome? Everybody is welcome. We encourage posters, banners, collages, t-shirts. Uh, we're going to have speakers, singers, and um, of course a candle lighting ceremony. So. Final question, it's, it's the holidays yes. and people tend to get a little careless around this time. Is there anything that you guys are doing in particular? Is this, is this what you're doing? Right, in, this, and uh, we holidays. just encourage everybody to be safe. We don't uh, uh, condone drinking. Go out and drink and have a good time, but uh, be responsible and find a way home. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe police are saying now, you know, they used to say just one drink and get behind the wheel. Now they're saying no drinks right. at all. It really right? depends on the person's weight, their height, things mm -hmm. like that. So uh, just one drink could could uh, potentially be dangerous. Yeah, and you lose your knowledge of whether you're sober or not. You think, oh, I'm just a little buzzed. Right, right. No. Your your uh, thoughts are impaired. So, exactly. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here. Thank this you morning. so much for having me. We hope me. the message gets out there. Really important. Go check out the candlelight vigil. Shut down drunk driving.